and welcome. Neil Ars here from Tights TV. Hope we're all well. Uh, a win and a clean clean sheet. Is it back to winning ways? Who knows? I'm hoping it is. I'm going to look play uh, ratings from game as well. Uh, some good uh, good performances. Uh, good all round team performance. It wasn't perfect, but it's an, it was an improvement, and you could tell certain things that have been worked on. Before I uh, do, start with player ratings, just uh, obviously result stuff, uh, what's been happening at club and stuff like that. It was great to see uh, Julian Quay uh, yesterday. I also saw a few of the familiar friends and faces, uh, Alan Smith, Loco, uh, Riddy, uh, people coming up to me, um, us having a ch uh, chat and a debate. I know this person don't mind. Um, it was 12 months ago uh, that his son had passed away unexpectedly. So he wanted to talk and just, you know, basically just wanted to talk to me and, and thank me for what I'm doing on that channel and, you know, keep things going kind of thing. So um, I'm not going to mention your name for obvious reasons, but yeah, it was a bit of a touching story what you were telling me via, mate, um, about your son. Oh, suddenly just passed away and it was, um, you know, 12 month, one year anniversary. So, all being well, that win, what for him? Um, and it kind of put things into perspective and other matters when, you know, we all more and complain about results and stuff like that. But when you had a story like that as well, it kind of puts it, you know, second nature in it. So... So yeah, moving on from that then, yeah, it were uh, you know, weather wise and that it wasn't great, were it, you know, miserable and stuff like that. But I think it also made the game a bit more better, as in pitch were a bit more slicker, a bit more zippier for to both be moving about. Great to see a start off. I thought for the first five, probably ten minutes, good and weather were a bit of nerves, a bit of uncertainty, but just seemed to be keeping keeping his own kind of thing. Just didn't want to concede. Which is understandable. Then I think someone's be, you know, got past ten minutes, was had to come into his own, and it, it proved that with a goal, from a chance we started creating for a screen as well as a tried. For didn't I don't think in my opinion they really threatened us. I think their goalkeeper Thomas, for me, for my uh, for uh, for a screen man at match, I think their goalkeeper Thomas gets him in game. Otherwise, it could have been a a lot more, um, you know, throwing his in front of things and that. But yeah, we'll get on to player ratings. And again, it's all, it's all about opinions and stuff. So please let me know your comments and thoughts about, you know, who we are man at the match. Because I think we're a few a few players in it, to be fair, this time round. But uh, yeah, we'll go. So player ratings against Forest Green Rovers, which happened uh, Saturday 50th of October. Brad Collins. Um, and again, I'm gonna give him a seven. He didn't really look troubled, but when when he came when he was called on, he did what he had to do. And for me, he looked more confident in his sen. If you know what I mean. If he if you've watched me over videos and that, uh, which I hope you have. But if <laughs> if you haven't, I've been saying that I think since he had that injury at, at Cambridge, his confidence after that seemed a bit shaky at times. But it was great to see Brad, you know, confidence getting back there again because we all know what a keeper he is. Williams, great to see him back. I want to give him an 8.2. And again, there's a few people in contention with this, so is he my man at match or not? You'll have to wait and see. But Williams, I thought it linked up well and always a threat, missed that threat down the end. It got an assist. For uh, the early goal and for staff. Driving forward, I thought it felt position brilliantly. Um, like I said, just bombing forward, trying to drive things and look more of a, an attacking danger threat than we have done for a couple of weeks, to be fair. So, Williams, an 8.2. <clears throat> Mads Anderson, again, another solid performance, a, a, a comfortable captain's performance, if you if you wish. It looked solid, it looked, you know, organised, it looked it looked more structured to it. 
compared to previous games where it's been a bit pulled out kind of position, whether it's filling other spaces up, but 7.5 for Mads for me. Edwards, I'm going to give him a 7. People might say a bit more or a bit less, but I thought playing in that kind of centre-back role, he stuck to his task, uh, put in some uh, decent tackles as well, especially in second half, I saw him some slide tackles going in. And again, for conditions, I think it helped out. And it, it tried to keep the line and, and shape it, uh, the, the bat free as well. It, it kind of complemented Anderson and Kitchen, we're going to get into in a minute. But yeah, I thought uh, Edwards, I thought it uh, complemented well with Williams playing about right side of central defence, right wing back for Williams. Kitchen 7.9. Did we have to do? Trying to bring ball forward as well. Silly yellow card though when he replied at referee. And then not long after, I was at Muller straight in front of Kitchen in Pontiend when I think uh, ball had gone out. And Kitchen were just like kicking ball all the way, and uh, ref were like play it back. And I'm thinking, don't we get a, another yellow card, a, a needless yellow card, just trying to boot ball away? Um, but yeah, it is what it is with Kitchen. Some point nine again, times like that, you, you pick up a silly yellow card for a point referee, just rain that bit in again. But it, it's who he is, he kind of come with mech up at player, doesn't it? But what it got me, my concern was that as game went on, with the conditions, like I said, with pitch being a bit slick, if they're going in for you know slight tackle and referee just seen it a different way, it could have been potentially second yellow and been off, and it could have undone a bit of work. So, but apart from that, apart from that, uh, seven point nine uh, for kitchen. Ricky okay, Cadam. 7.5. I thought it was one of his better as game, one of his better games. Sorry, trying to get uh, into areas and try things going. I think it, it was trying to complement Williams playing an other wing back role. Uh, where it again, he couldn't he couldn't fault that. But for me, it was one of them kind of players that uh, a, uh, a lot better performance than it for past previous weeks as well. Something I've been probably worked on. <laughs> Great to see him back starting, Luke O'Connell. Uh, I'm going to give him an eight. I know he got a man at a match for the game, but for me, an eight. Looking to link up in, in areas and pass, and we know what he does, show that great determination, you know, at corners and stuff like that. Thought he had a solid game, looked comfortable. Great to see him back. You know, he got subbed off against uh, Markham. He didn't start to run bench against Lincoln, but great to see him back in midfield and uh, I hope he's in, you know, for the next game coming up. Herbie Kane, seven. Um, again, try to get things going in midfield. Preston closed down. You know, it's. I think with Herbie Kane, it's a bit of a, a Marmite player with um, certain sections of fans. Um, either love him or you don't. But again, you can't fault his effort, what he was trying to do, trying to, you know, link up with a uh, midfield trio, uh, Benson, Luca, and uh, Irby. But again, a solid seven, a solid seven. Phillips came on and a bit unsure about impact and that. But again, I think it was to beef it up as the game went on. Benson, again, it looked playing about more in an advanced role. Uh, looked a threat at times, pressing and closing down well. Uh, I called actually and predicted starting 11 about trying Benson in a, a bit more in an advanced role and the formation kind of sorted it. We uh, it was like a Norwood and Benson behind Cole. With one moment there, we Cole dropping back a bit and Norwood going up and then. That interaction there, it seemed to complement um, Benson, but and I thought it looked more of a a threat with, with a link up as well. That's my opinion. Some point two, I know Jello came on minutes ago, got a bit of game time, lad. But uh, yeah, Benson, some point two for me. 
<clears throat> Devante, 7.8. If I had a good game, again, running into channels and trying to out ball up to bring others into play, being that figurehead. Well taken goal and all, and I'm glad that he's got a goal uh, back again. I think long, like any striker, the longer the game goes on, or games go on, we are a goal. You can see frustration about gaining. So, yeah. And then Martin came on to get other one. So, a good tactical substitution by Duff. It's got to be credit to Duff as well. Because the other substitute who came on, Tedich, was selfish, uh, selfishness. And it, it, it could have took the goal on his end, but he didn't square it to Martin. And, you know, I think that relieved a lot of pressure because we're always looking for a second goal. Um, so yeah, Devante, 7.8. Norwood, 7.1. Um, work rate, you always want to you know what you're going to get, kind of thing with Norwood. Work rate, running, make it uncomfortable for your defenders, you know, getting up and about some kind of thing. And I think he complimented where he played in that position and we kept inter interchanging. Tedich, again, he came on. I just wanted to get a goal. I really do. Um, I know he squared it for Martin, but then for a, an opportunity late after, uh, I think just after that, we bet his man. He went one on one with good keeper. I think he just put it in the top corner, just put it somewhere. But unfortunately, it didn't happen for him. I think it's just confidence with with kid here. Um, again, I think once he gets off his goal, to take a bit of pressure and uh, release a, a lot off him. So they are my um, player ratings. Be interested to hear what um, you think. You know, if you're saying comments below, um, I think one thing we all can agree is that we've won. It's a clean sheet, and we move on. You know, the the league table is that tight. A win or two, and you're elevated up into a decent, more respectable position in the league a few results went in his favour as well a few draws and a couple of losses to some uh, teams up there so again this league is un unpredictable but we just do what our job is so yeah for me it was Williams 8.2 we my man at match and like I said there were some other people in there contenders you know what kitchen there Luke Connell there Devante Cole were there so and that's pleasing to see that you're not struggling to try and find a man at match you're struggling to try and pick one out because there's that many via. So long may that continue. That's a nice idea to have that. Uh, trying to pick out a man at match when, you know, there's too many in them. Or oh, what's oh, had a good game. I take that all day long, all week long. So, yeah, thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe and share. Every you say in comments below, who oh, your man at match what? And I thought the game went out. If you saw me as well. Appreciate it. I did see quite a few people, and sorry, can't mention it all because you know, being another program. But uh, yeah, great to meet you all. Onwards and upwards. Have a great rest of your weekend. Be a bit more better now. Bounds have got to win. One thing left to say: you Reds. <laughs>